Well, hey. Hey, Amy. Hey, let's go. Alabama's playing football right now. <laughs> oh, do they have some sort of a football team? <laughs> <laughs> they do. Is, it, is that a, some sort of sport? It's a thing. Like a bubble head. I know. They don't really make these for women. <sighs> oh my god. It's okay though. I'm too nervous to watch, so we're gonna make a video instead. Is yes. that cool? And if I attack you suddenly, you'll be you'll be prepared. Okay, cool. Okay. Hey, Amy, I got a, I got a TRS-80 color computer, too. Coco, too. Coco, too. Do you know what TRS stands for? Trash. Tandy Radio Shack. Hush your mouth. <laughs> so this was Shut your mouth. Second edition of the color computer, the original <clears throat> TRS-80, having had no color. And you can, and it's got the R and the G and the B. All three of them in a composite format. That's all you really need. So plug it in, turn it on, and we get this. Color Basic 1.2. And now, can you hold? I sure can. Mm -hmm. If I do print M, it will tell us that the free memory I have available is 14,631, which makes sense because this computer only has 16K in it. And that's A, why it's running Color Basic, because if you had 64K, you could run Extended Basic. And B, um, why it only has 14 lift, because the Basic takes up the bits that are being used. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, at this point, it's tradition. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you see it? Let me come over right here. On the big monitor, it's huge. Yay! Yay. <laughs> break. I do like the break key. I mean, big red, can't miss it. Bam! Unfortunately, it is exactly where I want backspace to be. <laughs> Which makes it a little hard. Okay. All right. So, the plan today mm -hmm. is we're going to upgrade this computer to 64K and hope it still works <laughs> and hope it still boots. There is a non zero chance that mm -hmm. we take the chips <clears throat> out that add up to 16K. We put in the new chips that add up to CC4K. We solder the one little joint mm. that has to be connected to let it know it has more memory. We turn it on, and we have broken everything. <laughs> Depending on how well the desocketing of the original chips goes, we could break them along the way <laughs> and not even be able to revert. So this is, there, there, there are risks to this. That's why I wanted to do this before, <laughs> before we did any this is what it could be. upgrading, because I want you to see that it is working before we touched it. <laughs> so we're about to happen to it. We're about to happen, right. And, yeah. and God only knows. It's about to be Taylor and Amy showed, <laughs> which means. Which is the worst verb. This may be the last time it boots. Or, RIP. it could be bigger and better and faster and awesome. Anyway, Alright, so we're going to open the case. Okay. I took it. the screws out before you came over. Oh, good! <laughs> I love it when it's easy for me. It's so easy. So, here's the inside of the TRS yeah. Color Computer 2. TRS-8080 was for the Zilog 80 processor, which the, color com which the TRS-80 had. The Color Computer does not use that. It uses a Motorola 6809. So, it just um, was like, the, that's tradition. It's the grandfathered name, right? And this is unplugged. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where the extended RAM would go if we had it. And there is a... I could probably find one mm -hmm. if we get the RAM. You you have to. I'm sorry. Extended basic, R ROM. Let me just. 
This is but. where the extended basic ROM would go if I had it. You see, it's an empty chipset. This is the basic ROM that has the color basic in it. If our upgrade mm -hmm. is doesn't kill it mm -hmm. successful, then we can probably get an extended basic ROM. And there's somebody that makes like a like this is a really unusual. This 24 pins is a really unusual chipset these days. So they've, they've made like an adapter where you can use like a normal EEPROM, I think, and put it in there. Um, the ROM chips. And I'm sorry, once again, I cannot tell the difference between RAM and ROM in my brain. The RAM chips are right here. Move, can you bring it in? Slither hither. The RAM on this machine. These are fun. Are these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two kilobyte chips? And the first thing we're gonna do is thank the <laughs> makers that all of these chips are socketed. So hopefully we'll be able to pop them out of their sockets. We don't have to desolder them because they were never soldered to the board, and that is true for every chip on this board. Thank you, Tandy Radio Shack. Praise the content. Um, I'm going to attempt to get between the chip and the socket with these angled and just pry that up. This may or may not work. I did not try to do this prior to you, prior to videoing it. Um, <laughs> like trying to look. Okay. That, that seems to... It's gonna bend! Oh, wow. Ah! Little bendy. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Just as that, was, that was absolutely as perfect. Bad. I can bend these back. Also, it's not the end of the world if you break a pen because you can solder a new pen on as long as you've got the little stem. But there, there's our first one. The socket looks so good. Is... I don't see a ton of dust. Here's a big dust ball I'm going to remove. That looks like it came from this tape that looks absolutely um, ancient. Um, yeah, original. <laughs> again, again, again. I bent those last pins. This is not ideal. If I could come at it from both ways and kind of like trade off, I'd be in better shape. Mm, yeah. Maybe I can. But I just can't get over there without. The keyboard is in the way. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I have Ooh. no idea what's going on here, but I hate it, so I'm moving it. What is even this? I think it's something to that do with the keyboard. Ancient tape. Ancient tape. I mean, paleo future tape. <clears throat> okay, I got it. I. Mm -hmm. It just uh, those last ones like to just get a little in me. <gasps> yeah, injury. I stuffed myself with a RAM chip. I am now. I now have more RAM. I mean, if a dog bites you, you take dog mitten. What do you take if you eat stuff? By Ramapro. Ramapro. I don't want to lick that. Hang on. I have... <laughs> kills 99.99% .99 of bacteria from 1983. <laughs> kills all of that because yeah. it hasn't built up resistance. This is going to hurt. <clears throat> oh, Taylor. Oh, typical. Oh, Taylor. I mean, I have to... <clears throat> Okay. <gasps> Almost halfway done. Okay, I was just an only one. Like, how did I even? I gotta play that back in slow motion to figure out how you even did that. Okay. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> 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 yeah. mm -hmm. Man. Man, it would be so much easier if I could get it from the other side, too. That's the problem. I, used to not, I did not know this would be so dangerous. I have an idea. That idea is called. Get your hands near that. Don't touch it at all. That seems to be good. I'm not mad about this. Oh my God. Well, now these are biohazards. <laughs> I mean, this is date. We can wipe the chips off. I'm not gonna. <laughs> no, I'm not. You see, this is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. 
I mean, truthfully, I'm less worried about hurting the chips than the socket. The nice thing about keeping the chips intact is we could theoretically undo everything we're doing today. Note that the chips have a tiny little TC Tandy Corporation. And human blood. Stop it. <laughs> now that they've tasted human blood, what do you think will happen? Keep coming back during the night. I know. You can name this Audrey too. I was thinking the same exact thing. Well, of course you are. You get dry shady. Feed Audrey me. too. Does it have to be human? Feed me. <laughs> Does it have to be mine? Feed me. Where am I gonna get it? Feed me Seymour. Right, here we go. And we push it down in, and that is perfect. Next. <laughs> So these chips don't have that little divot on them, although the chip sockets do. They have a little, see that dot? That's the whole deal. That lets you know that's pin one. Right, I'm gonna zoom me, zoom me. See mm -hmm. if I can get it to, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's a lie. Excuse me, my finger. Okay. Yeah, this is the death spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. There you go. And glad I ordered ten. I mean, looking looking sharp though. Because I bent one, and while I unbent it, I'm going to swap it out for a new one. Yeah. Last one. All right, and this goes back yeah, down. Bump. Now, this actually goes like that. If you zoom in here somewhere, we have to find it. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, right there. Do you see W1? Oh Between Wait. this chip and this chip. I may have a shadow with you. Oh, I do. You see W1? You see it's got two solder pads next to it? Yes. I need to bridge those. To put a little bit of solder on pads one and two and get them to bridge. There! All right. I'm gonna put the case back on. And it comes off, oh, you'll like this. So it comes off with, you know, a number of case screws. It was like one, two, three, four. And then I couldn't get it open. And I'm like, the hidden... Where? What am I missing? Is there glue? Is there... You know, what on earth? Why is this thing so hard to... Um, open? And turns out there was one hidden screw. Is it the, like the deep down one? Uh -uh. That deep? No. It was the... You gotta break this sticker, and if you break this sticker, we know the you warranty. unscrewed it. Yes. <laughs> so I, myself... You voided, voided the, the warranty. warranty. <laughs> Please don't smoke. It did it. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna film it. <laughs> oh, now, oh. it's showing 31,000 free, so I'm not super sure, but that's definitely more it's than more. we had before. It's more. It's totally more. It found something. It found something. It booted. <laughs> it booted. It works. All right. Um, we'll come back around here. And let me show you the games I have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you wait to see the games library I've acquired? I hope they're books. I have math bingo. And the graphics on the, show them, the graphics are so good. I'll try not to do it upside down. Oh, yeah. Come on, math bingo. Damaged the connector. Oh, math bingo coming through. <laughs> That's what I meant. We're playing math bingo. Math bingo. I have the whole color catalog Which is of all the different games you can buy for your system. I have I'm gonna order some. the TRS-80 Color Computer 2 Operational Manual. 
this one is the one that I was telling you about that um, goes into great detail on how to put a cartridge into a slot. But it's sort of like every time you fly on a plane, they tell you how to use a seatbelt, just sort of that. Sort of like when we were reading the scuba manual and it was like, using your thumb and index <laughs> finger, squeeze your nose. And we were like, can you just tell me? A, if I weren't going to use those two fingers, it's none of your business as long as my nose I, gets I squeezed. And want. B, can you imagine somebody being like, squeeze your nose? How do I, how do, how do I do it? Oh no, I do? it's hard. Bingo math. I'm like, Speed math. Ugh. Finger math. <gasps> okay. Five plus three. I've got eight. Wait, how do, I, how do I go to eight? How do I tell it? Do we need joysticks? Mm. Well, we have 13 wait, wait. Do I go different down? manuals. Which one else is what to do? I don't have that <laughs> one. Oh God. I do have getting started with color basic. <laughs> that is the happiest. In the game. Show them this screen. The guy prideiest, which is fun. I love it. Awesome! Yeah, look at this beauty. I think we need joysticks. I'm going to grab them. Okay. These monstrosities are the joysticks. Right. We'll they have these. So you'll note that if you move it in any direction, it stays there. It has no yeah. rebounding. <laughs> <laughs> like you would have on any other joystick where it would rebound to center. <laughs> and then the connector. Yeah, what's that be look like? You know, standard joystick. Okay. Well, yeah, from a thousand years ago. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna be left. I'm gonna put this puppy back over here for all this. Math bingo action is about to happen. <laughs> hot bingo action. Because it's bingo. I'm... These are hard. <laughs> I mean, we need to scream out bingo. <gasps> Did you bingo? Bingo! Oh, I got you one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't, I can't live through Oregon Trail, so and I can't have much. bingo. Look at that. Oh. I got a bingo. <laughs> Why do I always die? Probably because I started not sooner. Getting bingo. So, the TRS-80 Color Computer 2 RAM upgrade went great. Worked. Both joysticks worked. Yep. One out of four game cartridges work. Which is pretty good. <laughs> These three, yeah. we did not play. But winning. But boy, did we play Math Bingo. And what was your estimated blood loss? And in other news, <laughs> Alabama won. Roll that. 30 milliliters. Just, I'm a little woozy. <laughs> you don't think so. I'm gonna take a little nap now. I'm gonna sleep on my my TRS eighty. On my yeah, and radio Alabama one, computer. but that's always true. Stop it! <laughs> Don't you dare! We have more game to play. Magical thinking. <laughs> um, yeah, we're all tied. Thanks for watching.